I'm Jessica Vallant, and this is my husband and student, Brian Vallant, and he is an intermediate Pilates student, and today we're going to be demonstrating five different exercises on the Pilates Reformer for you. Long stretch, down stretch, up stretch, elephant, and long back stretch. So we have a red and a blue on our Pilates Reformer today, so that would equal one heavy and one medium. You can adjust the springs if you need to for your client, and here we go. So we're going to start standing up on the Reformer. I just have a pad here for Brian's feet during long stretch. So he's going to have the balls of his feet in between the shoulder rests, hands a little wider than shoulder distance apart, perfect, and then he's going to drop down into a plank to start. So you want to keep this beautiful long neutral spine during long stretch. So when you're ready, take a big inhale, and then exhale, he's going to come forward over the foot bar, perfect, keeping that long neutral spine as far as you can, and then inhale to press back. Filling the lungs, expanding, and keeping those abdominal muscles pulled in the whole time. Ribs knitting together. Beautiful. So energy shoots out through the crown of the head, and at the same time, it's pulling back through the tailbone. So you have this oppositional energy pulling, pulling, pulling. Perfect with the legs. You can see they're super active. Nice job. So we'll do about two more. So we're going to inhale to press back. And then he's going to exhale, pull himself forward. You'll see he's not dropping down in the shoulder blades at all, which is great. Last one. And then come all the way forward. Very nice. And then he's going to come down onto his knees and we'll move into down stretch. So we won't need our sticky anymore. He's going to have his feet up against the shoulder rests. Hands are basically in the same position. Knees come the same distance apart as the feet. So now in down stretch, we're looking for a slight bit of extension through the spine. Shoulders are still really engaged. Nice job. And so it's like you have a string pulling you up through the crown of your head. Again, belly button pulled in. That's perfect. So you'll see this little slope through his spine. That's what we want. But abs are engaged, so he's not sinking at all. And then breathing is going to be the same. So it's an inhale to press back with the arms. Exactly. And then the exhale is going to pull him in, and then you feel this energy reaching up through the crown of the head. Nice job, and we'll do a few more here. Perfect. And then the exhale, like the rising sun up over the bar to come back in. So you want to watch during this whole series wrist pain, a real common complaint during this series. Typically, it actually has to do with weakness up in the shoulder girdle and organization problems up in the shoulder girdle. So you'll just want to always check with that. You want to engage through the lats, which are going to feed down into the oblique muscles and help keep that entire abdominal corset engaged. Last one. And then all the way in. That was perfect. All right, so we're gonna come up for up stretch. I think this is the hardest of the bunch that we're going to do. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna be in a high heel position. And what you really wanna watch for, what makes up stretch unique, is this flexion that's gonna occur in the lumbar spine and really throughout the whole spine here. So perfect, exactly. It's gonna start here and let the head drop just a little bit more, exactly. All right, so what we're gonna do is drop down, so press the legs out, and you're gonna keep a little bit of flexion in the lumbar spine as you do that. Exactly, drop here just a little more, tuck your toe. Yep, there. Now he's gonna come forward like long stretch almost, so bring your chest up over the foot bar, coming all the way forward, all the way, as close to the carriage hitting as you possibly can, then lift the hips up, stay rounded, and the legs come underneath, and those lower abdominal muscles are engaged the whole time, exactly. So we're gonna drop down, drop the tail, but keep almost a little squeeze on your buns as you do it, yep. Then come forward with the shoulders, exactly. So over, over, stay round, stay flexed. Yes, and then you're gonna flex here to lift up and let the legs come underneath. Yes, and let's do about two more of those. So we're gonna drop down, so this is an inhale here to drop. And then exhale to pull forward, 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 yes. And then inhale to lift, drop the legs one more time. Filling the lungs, so long inhale there. Exhale to come forward all the way with the arms, with the arms, with the arms, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then lift, so lower abs are working like crazy here. Perfect, nice hamstring length, exactly. And then you can step down. So all you're going to do here to elephant is bring the heels down against the shoulder rest. 
and we're going to maintain that flexion. So it's just a nice flow straight into elephant here. So maintain the flexion, let the head again drop heavy. And then it's an inhale, press back with the legs about six inches or so. And exhale just to fold them underneath you. Yeah, but around here more. Yes, there. So that was a perfect adjustment, right? Good. And then exhale to pull. Little belly is lifting, almost like you're going to be punched up in the gut as the legs pull in. Toes are relaxed. Try not to grip the toes. And again, really nice work up in the shoulder girdle. He's not letting those shoulders creep up at all. And we'll do it about two more. Inhale, exhale, so deep. Exhale to pull in. Last one. And then exhale. Perfect. And then last one, we'll come down for a long back stretch. So he's going to step off the reformer. You got it. Nice job. You're doing great. <laughs> it's a hot day here in San Diego. So Brian's going to bring foot up, perfect. So safely onto the foot bar with the hands on either side of the hips. The palms are going to face back. The feet are up against the shoulder rest. And so he's brought his tail off the bar a little bit. So this already is a lot of work up here. So he's going to press down away from the hands to lift up out. Exactly. And you want that long spine. That's really the goal here. So now keeping long arms, you're going to press yourself away from the bar. Yes. So now tricep dip. Bend your elbows back towards me. Exactly. Now come back towards the foot bar and then lift up. Press through the arms and keep this long. Yep. Two more like that. So inhale out. Bend your elbows. Exhale, pull in, belly stays in, and then lift up, last one, press out, bend the elbows, legs are active, good, and then lift through the crown of the head, okay, last time we're going to reverse directions, bend the elbows, yes, and then press it out, and then straighten the arms, and then pull it back in on the exhale, yes, two more, inhale, bend your elbows, exhale, press, yep, straighten the elbows, come back in, last one, Bend, yep, watch the shoulders, press out with the arms, exactly, straighten the arms up, so think again, energy lifting up, come all the way in, tail back up onto the foot bar, and rest. Nice job, how do you feel? What's so. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us teach you today, we had a great time, we look forward to teaching you some more. Have a great day.